Hello YouTube, I'm back finally with a video, um, it's definitely been a good few months since I've uh, last uh, made a video and uploaded it, um, I've sort of been away from the YouTube scene for a while, um, I've not obviously been making videos, I've not really been watching too many, uh, I've tried to obviously keep up to date and I, I have been watching a few, uh, obviously when, when I've got the odd time to and stuff. Um, I've not really lost interest in anything like that. I've not stopped collecting. I'm still, if you can see the collection behind me, it's a, it's a lot bigger than it used to be. Uh, so I'm still picking stuff up. Um, still just as much as into it as I was when I uploaded my first video. Um, I've just literally had a sort of break. Um, just really been getting on with other things. Um, not really had as much time. Obviously Christmas was just around the, around the corner, so obviously that takes up a lot of time so I've just not really had, had the time to do it uh, I suppose sometimes the, you know I have thought you know let's do a video but I've just preoccupied myself with like other stuff um, fish tanks I've really got into fish so I've been spending a lot of time with that as well um, just other stuff really but you know I'm back now back ready to do gaming stuff get back into gaming Talk about games, show games, collect games, and you know the the whole lot. So I've got obviously <laughs> I've been picking up just as much as I have from the start. So I've got quite a lot to show you. Um, got it all laid out down there now, all in little piles. Um, it might be a two-part video. Um, I'm not sure how long it will last. Uh, I don't really want to do any videos longer than half an hour with with pickups and stuff so I'll see how far it goes and I might cut it halfway and then go back into it just do two parts um, so just so you get a rough idea of the dates um, the pickups that I'm about to show you some are going I'm going back about four maybe even five months um, well as far back as play Manchester anyway um, they it's not everything I've picked up. I have picked up a lot more than what I'm about to show you. Um, however, I just cannot, I can't remember um, what I've shown, what I've not shown. So I just picked up the stuff that are interesting. You know, I've picked up more stuff up there, but there's no point showing. Well, there is, but it's just, I, you know, I want to get the interesting stuff. Um, so I've, I've picked up sort of that, and as well as the stuff I can remember. Um, sorry, it can't keep coming. Um, yeah, so... I'll get straight into that, show everything I've picked up, um, as well as that, this video is sort of a chance to do a sort of update about my channel, um, which isn't really much of a channel because, you know, I've done a few videos, I've got about, you know, one subscribers, and, the, you know, there's, there's no content, it's not a channel, it's just, you know, a couple of videos, um, but I'm hoping to get more, hoping to get into it a bit more, and just see how it goes. Um, I spoke with a few friends as well, and we're looking at maybe like putting a few videos together and doing some like gameplay videos, reviews of games. Um, it's just it's just something I've always wanted to do, just as you know, a bit of fun, really, a bit of a bit of a hobby on the side. Um, so I'm gonna look into it, maybe give it a go. If I like it, I'll keep going. If I don't like it, then I'll probably stop. But we'll we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, I'll still obviously be doing my pickups videos. Um, like I know there's quite a few people at the moment who are sort of cutting down on those, but I, I really like pickups. I really like watching pickup videos. I really like doing them because you know it's just great to see what people are still getting. Even you know for me, especially throughout the winter, it's you know car boots are just not pretty much not there uh, for me. I know in some areas they are. Um, so I'm stuck with pretty much eBay and Gumtree and trying to get stuff off there, um, which I found some good stuff. But the excitement of going to a car boot, I think, I think that's a, the best part of collecting. Going to a car boot, not knowing how many traders are going to be there, not knowing what you're going to find, and then you know you go a few days. It could be a couple of weeks where you've been and you've not found anything, and you thought it's worthless, and then all of a sudden you hit that jackpot which I think was my last video and I found a really good a really really good box uh, mega cheap as well um, so yeah so just a and I'm waffling on a bit so just a quick sort of update on the channel I've 
you know, got, got, got a bit more into it. I've done a bit of, uh, I've sorted my channel art out, created like a little logo for myself. Um, but, you know, I was unsure with, with like the sort of law behind copyright. Uh, I did have, I sort of ripped, I've got a new name as well, so I'll just mention that first, um, Retro Reclaimer. Um, but I didn't really like Click EC because, you know, it was a name I picked ages ago for using on the Xbox on Live. Um, you know, mainly because you're on Cod or Hill and you're killing stuff. Um, you know, it's pointless having it in a channel because, you know, I'm not killing anything here. There's, you know, there's nothing to kill, so it's just a stupid name for, you know, it's just the name is irrelevant. Uh, so I thought I'd change it. If you want, if you want to know where I got the the name from, um, I'm quite a big fan of Halo, and you know the the bang on about the Master Chief being the reclaimer, and I thought I just like the sound more of the name, not really what it means or anything like that. I liked how it sounded. Um, stick retro there, retro reclaimer. It's like I'm claiming back all. Of, you know, you get it. Um, so yeah, I thought. You, you know, I, I thought, yeah, it's a good name, so I picked that. Hopefully, there's no one else out there with that name, um, and then I'll use that from now on. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna. I've been working at sort of creating like a logo. Um, I did give it a go, and then I put like I put a picture of Sonic on and a, a picture of Mario. Um, obviously, that's someone else, you know, another company's image. So I want to sort of change that and maybe just draw my own little thing and attach that on there. Um, I'm not very good with stuff like that, but you know, I, I quite like the sound of it being my own itself anyway. And I, I, I know it's not like anything for, you know, I'm not making a profit, it's not a business or anything, but it's still just a, quite a grey area to me, so I don't really understand it, so I'm just I'm just gonna, I, well I've decided now I don't wanna uh, use any other images anyway. Um, so that's that. Um, obviously, hopefully there'll be, coming, be some gameplay content coming, uh, you know, like live sort of uh, commentary, gameplay, uh, reviews, stuff like that. Um, even like look into sort of like achievement guides. Achievements like on the Xbox 360 was, uh, you know, I, I really enjoyed those. Um, so I might look at doing sort of like walkthroughs and stuff like that. Um, I've, I've just, I've, I've got a lot. To be honest, I've got a lot what I've uh, got planned in my head, what I want to do. Um, some bits will work, some bits won't. I'll just see how it goes and see what I enjoy, and I'll just keep doing that. Um, so that's basically all you need to know with the future of the channel for now. Um, those subscribers, I think there's about 50 subscribers I've got, which is, you know, it's, it's shocking. To, you know, that I've got 50 subscribers and I've not uploaded any videos for ages. Uh, so those that have actually stayed and you know waited this you know it's a good few months, whether that's because they can't be bothered on subscribing me or they've just forgot, I I don't care. You still you still subscribers, so thank you very much for waiting around. I've got a got to have a brew because it's like fucking half past two in the morning. Um, I thought you know I'm not, I'm not going to bed till I get this video done. It's been too long. I wanted to get it done, so I've stayed up. Um, but yeah, those that st stuck around, yeah, thank you very much. Um, it's you know it's you don't you don't do it for the subscribers or you know all that lot, but it's it's nice to know that there's people watching and you know even just the odd comment saying yeah good it just good video you know a comment one comment saying good video it makes me so much happier just because I'm enjoying making these videos and it shows that people are enjoying watching them. Um, so yeah, I think it's brilliant. Um, so you know, it's sort of nearly ten minutes into the video now, so I'm gonna go straight into the pickups, start showing off those. Um, I'm gonna start with from around, uh, well, as far as I can remember, which is uh, sort of play Manchester dates. Um, so I'll go straight into those, show you a few things I've got, and then I'm gonna work my way sort of down the months towards Christmas and what I've picked up after that. Um, like I said, there's a lot I've missed out. Um, what I've, you know, I have picked up. There's, I've not picked up as much as normal, but I've just kept the interesting stuff or stuff that I can remember. Um, so yeah, let's get straight into it then. Um, first thing I'm going to show you then is a game I've been after for quite a while for the PlayStation One. Um, you know, it's it's a game I had when I was younger and I really enjoyed playing. Um, the only problem was it was quite expensive. I was looking on eBay and it's 
always about 35, 40 quid. Um, I can't remember the price exactly I paid for this. I think it was about 30 pounds, maybe 35. But it was towards, it was in play in Manchester and it was towards the end of the first day. And I just made an offer and he accepted, which doesn't usually happen at play. So, you know, that was, that was quite lucky. Um, and that's Digimon, uh, well, Digimon World, the first one. Um, if none of you play this game, it's actually a really, really good game. Yeah, it's sort of rip off of Pokemon, um, but if you like that type of game, sort of leveling up new characters and stuff like that, then you know, role playing games. This is a perfect game. Um, I think it's absolutely brilliant. Uh, even now, you know, when I'm nearly 23 years old, and you know, there's the PlayStation 4 out. I still enjoy playing this. Um, but yeah, really, really good game. Um, I, when I found it, it was in you know the disc and manual. You know I, I don't need to show you, but like really nice condition. You know there's no stickers or scuffs or anything like that or rips. Um, the disc. Um, there is a little sort of you won't be able to see with the camera, but there is a sort of ring on there. But everything plays fine. Um, the case, however, was smashed up pretty bad. So I simply just asked if I could swap it for a new case, and he said if you find a good one then you're welcome to change it. So I did that and found uh, pretty much a perfect case as well. So yeah, about £30, £35. Was it worth it? It's a bit expensive for a PS1 game, but definitely worth it. Just the memories it brings back. So that's the first one. Um, that's pretty much all I bought from Play Manchester. Um, prices were pretty harsh in there. You know, you was, you was paying a lot more than what you'd usually sort of pay if it was, you know, sort of on car boot stuff like that. And obviously it's best to try and get these stuff whilst they, they are cheap. Um, next thing I'm going to show you then is something my partner bought me. Um, <laughs> going back further now to play Blackpool, um, I bought a Nintendo 64 uh, in the box and I bought Legend Zelda, Legend of Zelda, um, Majora's Mask. Uh, however, you need an expansion pack to play it. So, guess what? The next thing I'm going to show you is this expansion pack. Um, yeah, I've still not today not been on main 64 since I bought it. It's been nearly a year, um, which is pretty sad. But I've brought another game which I'll show you. I'm looking at buying some more, and I'm looking at buying a few more things for the N64. Stepping away from Dreamcast a bit because uh, I'm quite happy with what I've got for that and then look at another console which is probably going to be the N64 so it's a boxed expansion pack um, which is in brilliant condition the box is you know pretty much perfect I mean you know it's nice and shiny it's, the colours fine there's no scuffs or anything uh, which is always you know it's, it's always good Um, the lip or whatever you call that bit is you know it's not creased or anything like that. It's actually been kept in really good condition which is you know which is fantastic. Obviously the inserts are there, you've got the expansion pack itself and the little removal tool, I don't know what that's called, sorry. And the manual, all in perfect condition. So you know to find stuff in I mean, this was from eBay, um, but you know, and it probably costs quite a bit. But to find stuff like in good condition like that is, you know, I think it's just you know so much worth it rather than having you know big rips down the side or just simply the expansion pack without the box. It's just you know it's so much better that you can keep it in the box. Um, so yeah, that's the next thing uh, that I got. Um, moving on a little bit, you know. If, if, few weeks after that maybe, um, I was speaking to a friend at work, pretty much everyone knows you know, how much I'm into my gaming now and how you know, that I like collecting, I show everyone pretty much every day pictures on my phone. Um, uh, one of the lads was uh, sort of you know, getting posted to a new location and after sorting his room out he found loads of PS2 games that obviously was useless to him, he didn't want um, and so he, you know, he asked me if I was interested which you know I was like, yeah, of course I am. So I went round. Uh, it basically gave me a sort of like a, it was like a, in a JD drawstring bag uh, full of games. Um, I've not got them all here 
there were, must have been about 15, but I can't remember them all. And some of them, I think, you know, there's a, I've got in a box down there which, uh, you know, ready to be sold. Uh, but yeah, they're ones I've kept anyway. Um, there's a really nice collector's edition of Need for Speed Carbon. It's in quite nice condition. Um, it's got a little extra case, you know, that you don't usually find on games. Obviously, the normal game case itself, and you've got the manual uh, disc and bonus disc in there. Um, so yeah, that's you know, it's quite good to have that. Um, it's the only really sort of limited sort of collector's edition I've got for the PS2. So and plus, it's a really good game. Uh, I think it was one of the last games that were released on that console. No, that's that's a lie. It, it was nowhere near the last game that was released on that console. Just ignore completely what I just said. I'm thinking of the Xbox. But yeah, just ignore that. <laughs> that's a lot of bullshit. Um, so yeah, that's that game. Another game then is Metal Gear Solid 3. Um, Snake Eater. You know, I've mentioned in my videos, I've never really played Metal Gear Solid that much. I know a lot of people are probably, you know, thinking, what? But, you know, I've, ne I've never really got into it that much. I played the first one. Enjoyed a bit of that, but I don't know the storyline, and it's just one of those games where I've just not, you know, come by. But who knows? One day, um, another one there, Medal of Honor Frontline. Um, again, brilliant game. Um, again for free, so you know it's you can't go wrong there. Killzone. This is one I remember from when I was younger. My brother had this game, and I used to just sit there and watch him play. Um, so yeah. I think Killzone 3 is out now for the PS4. That's the first one. And I'll show these two together. Destroy All Humans 1 and 2. Again, both with manuals. You know, in really good condition. They've just not been touched for ages. Uh, good games. All, all of those were free. As well as another 10 games maybe. These are just ones in the, you know, the best condition and the sort of best games. Um, others, like I had copies of already, and I've since sold those on eBay. <laughs> Making me first deal with talking. Um, right, next, there's going to be the last few games I got before Christmas. Um, some Dreamcast games which I'm always happy to show. We've got three games. I bought one of them originally and then I'll show that one first. That's Evolution. Uh, the World of Sacred Device. This is one when I had my Dreamcast going back maybe 10 years ago. In fact it was 2001 or something so you know, about 15 years ago now. Um, there was an RPG that I had, and I always just remember one little bit running down this hill, and I was trying for ages to find. I was looking at all the on YouTube, looking at all the RPGs for Dreamcast, trying to find this one little tiny part of you know what could be a massive game, just to try and find what game it was. And then I finally found it. Turned out to be this game. Um, luckily, it wasn't that expensive. I think I bought this for about 15 pounds. Um, really nice condition as well. I don't like my Dreamcast ca cases broken, so I always try and get decent ones. And once I do, I put a nice little plastic bag on like this. It's not going to stop them getting damaged or out, but it's going to keep the dust off. And I don't know. It's just kind of like the pride of my collection, so I seem to I just put it on just because of that. Um, I couldn't really tell you much about the game because you know I've not played on it since you know when I first first player on it really. Um, again, it's a bit like Pokemon, um, but you, you're human characters, uh, so Final Fantasy type fighting, and you level up, which is brilliant, which you know a lot of people like. And I'm sure there's an amazing story to it as well, but you know I never got that far. Um, there's also Evolution 2, which I've never played, but that's currently on eBay at the moment for about £60, so... That one's quite must be quite rare because it's expensive. Uh, next two games I'm going to show you. Then I sort of seen one uh, on eBay and it was making offer, so I messaged the guy 
made an offer and then uh, you know I was checking these other items for sale and he had some more Dreamcast games so I made an offer on another one and then made an offer on both together and tried to get them a bit cheaper. Luckily it works, I can't remember what I paid for them now um, but I got them for quite cheap uh, and obviously it helps with post and package as well because it's nice and cheap. And first one then is Dino Crisis. Again, I'll not mention it, but if you see this case on a Dreamcast game, it's immaculate condition basically. Dino Crisis was, you know, I played it on the PS1 and it was a, you know, a brilliant game. I was really scared of it when I was younger. Um, it's uh, pretty much Resident Evil, but rather than zombies, dinosaurs. Um, again, I've not played too much of it, but from what I remember, it's pretty much exactly like that. And Speak of the Devil, Resident Evil is the other one, called Veronica. Um, I, yeah, I'd rather have Resident Evil 2, but this one's much cheaper. Um, I am on the lookout for Resident Evil 2, and I will try and get that. Um, but yeah, for now, this one I'll have to do. This has got a case on, but it's not in a micro condition. There's actually a, a little small crack there. Um, but, you know, it's, I'm not going to change it just because of that. I'm quite happy with that. So that's everything basically from my last video up until Christmas. Yeah, like I said, I've said it for about three times now. There was a few more stuff, um, but I've just, you know, I just can't physically remember. Right, I've got to be really careful now because these things will fall into pieces. Um, first Christmas present I'm going to show you then um, is something my sister got me, and that's a little pixelated Sonic. Um, just a, if you just imagine Lego, but you know, very tiny. I think there's about 240 pieces. It took me ages to build, and it was so fussy, like trying to fiddle about with such tiny little pieces. Um, you, you're trying to put one piece on, and the rest is breaking off. And then I finally did it, and I think it looks pretty cool. Sat on my shelf. I'm not going to show you that for long. I'm going to put it down in case it crumbles in my hand again. <coughs> I cannot be bothered to build that again. Um, so that's that. Uh, next thing I'll show you then is what my partner's mum bought me. Um, don't think you can see. Sorry, I'm just looking at the camera. Um, just above my finger there is a little Sonic. I don't think I've shown him as much on a. He's been in. My... He was in my last video on the shelf, but I didn't introduce introduce it as sort of like a you know as I am doing now um, but yeah he sat up there um, obviously you know what's coming next um, Shadow she bought me Shadow so you know he can sit next to him it just helps fill the shelf I think um, obviously my shelf's quite full now so I could do with another one um, but yeah I think these things look pretty cool just sat up there as well because <coughs> it's not just about the games you know these come into it a lot, you know, there's, we all do it, we all collect, you know, other stuff than just games. Um, another thing I'm going to show you then is, it was a present but I opened it, you know, before Christmas, about two weeks before, just because we was travelling home, we couldn't fit in in the car, so my partner's like, open it now, I want to see you open it, and you can basically have it when we come back down. Um, there's a bit of irony with this one. Um, it's a bit heavy <laughs> as well. Um, this was pretty weird because, you know, I'm going back, Christmas just gone. Uh, ten years ago, I opened this as it was brand new. And it's since, you know, I've, I've it's gone since then. It, I think it got stolen. Uh, ten years later, I'm opening it again, which is, you know, it's, it's well is nothing but you know it's quite exciting and <coughs> I've changed it recently so I've just you know put it back to how I got it just so you can see how it was when I opened it um, straight into it then I'll hold the box up it's an Xbox and it's the crystal version you just see at the bottom of the box there um, box is in okay condition could be better, um, it's a bit obviously damaged at the top, but 
I'm not too bothered. Um, I'm quite happy with the condition the box is in. I'm not going to try and get a better box or anything. Um, you know, it still functions well. It's sturdy. It works. Uh, so yeah, more than happy with that. Yeah, the Crystal Xbox I think is, you know, I, I thought, thought it looked really nice. Um, some people don't like it and prefer the original black one. Um, but I think this one looks a lot better. And it's limited edition as well. Um, only problem with this then is it came with a black controller. Um, pretty gutted because you want, if you've got the Crystal Xbox you want the Crystal controller. Um, but yeah, at least it's official. <coughs> Not only did it come with that controller, but it came with another one which isn't official but it pretty, it's probably as close as you can get. I don't know if anyone's seen these before but basically it doesn't say Xbox. The buttons feel different and look different and again just it usually says Xbox there but it doesn't on this one and again on the back there's no stickers. Um, but you know it probably still functions just as well so I will keep it just for that off chance that you know I need it. Um, but yeah I'm not going to keep it in the box or anything like that or on display. Um, if Again if you've watched my videos before you'll know that I don't really like sort of either fake or you know unofficial products. Um, obviously you've got the cables in there. It's just the normal AV. Would have been nice to have the original Xbox Skype but it's not there. Manuals are in there. There's also a you know promotion little leaflet in there which is cool. Obviously plugs to your mains. The polystyrene inserts which again it just it just completes the sort of the, the box really. And the Xbox itself then <coughs> pardon me. This um I don't know if any of you have not seen it before, but you know this is what it looks like. I don't think it's particularly rare or anything like that. Um, but yeah, I think it looks a hell of a lot nicer than the original black one. Um, you know, growing up as a kid, that I spent a lot of time on this, and I absolutely loved it. Um, the only problem was, obviously now it's just got a black controller. But I've sort of, you know, rectified that a bit. But I'll come on to that later. So yeah. Obviously, you can guess that I've not got a crystal controller, um, but yeah, I'll speak 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 about that in just a second. I'm running out of space, and I just put all this stuff. Um, with the Xbox itself, then again, my partner bought me that, and there was a few games. I can't remember exactly what the games were, so I'm just going to pick out the ones that I do know that was with it. Um, you got the Classics Project Gotham Racing, Racing 2. Um, there's, I've been watching a few videos lately on whether people should collect classics or not. Um, I have thought, you know, I don't want to collect classics, I don't want to collect platinum. Just the original copies, yeah, they are worth more and the more collected value there is with them. Um, but you play the game just as well as you can with the original. So I was thinking, should I just get rid of all those type ones? You might just be able to see again just above my finger, platinum PS1 games. So I am keeping them in the collection. It is still part of the collection. Um, I just, you know, if say I had one game which I really liked on platinum, I wouldn't go out my way to find it just with a black label. I'll, you know, if I do find it and it's cheap. Yeah, I'll pick it up and then maybe sell the platinum, but other than that, I'm going to keep them. Um, Sniper Elite, all these have got manuals in as well, and uh, discs are all in good condition. Sniper Elite, Red Dead Revolver, um, this is good. I, I loved, absolutely love Red Dead Redemption, but never played this, so it'd be good to see uh, what this game is like. Colin McRae Rally 3, uh, Brothers in Arms Owned in Blood. Um, Brothers in Arms Hell's Highway is probably one of my favourite World War II games. Um, it's pretty much... the well, Hell's Highway is on the Xbox 360 and pretty much carries on exactly from where this game left, leaves off. 
Oh, that's the Xbox games. I'm going to cut it there now then. Uh, this is going to be part one. I'm going to have a little break because I'm starting to cough because I need some water or something. Um, and then I'm going to go into part two. Um, if you enjoyed what you've seen so far, stick around for part two because I've got a lot much better stuff to show off than that. Um, I've got basically more retro, some Game Boy, Nintendo 64, uh, Super Nintendo to show you. So, yeah, catch me in the next part of this video, guys, and you'll see all that that's yet to come. See you for now.